last week amongst the fray. There were three Lunar Force One Reflect shoes released. I'm not a big fan of Lunar Forces, but I am a fan of these and the yellow ones. Now, a few new things. These have been following up at the end of the video for a long time. And recently, the goodshoes.com. I'm getting my graphics together. Shout out Dwayne Smith Graphics. D Sickle. Dwayne Smith Graphics.com. Want to have a lot more fun with the site, and I have found a new, larger, clear turntable. I still have the white one, but I like this adding to the table overall. I have my new cards for the site where I'm selling the shoes that will be off of my collection and maybe others that I pick up over time. These will be available at Sneaks Up San Antonio tomorrow. Come out and see us. And there's all of the links to where I'm currently at. So it just makes better sense that I'll start using better graphics. And I'll try to add some of them in the video here as well, and there will be more over time. Now back to the shoe. I'm not a real big fan of Lunar Forces just because I'm not a fan of the Lunar Force Soul. I don't dislike them 100%. They're just not... Uh, what I really like to have. They fit a little different. If they're the new mesh style on me, I have to at least half size up. One thing I do like about them is that cutaway. I like that sole. I like the way that they've done that. I like the reflectivity that they put in there as well on this one. But just that basic pattern here, I'm more of a purist. I'm more of the old Air Force One, how they were meant to be, straight off, and I like those. This one here, I do like this pink one with the reflectivity, and yes, we'll light them up. That heel and that stripe do light up. The thing I look at, though, is that also, this one here takes a little bit, in my opinion, for what it's worth, away from the Mayor Strawberry Quick. He did that pink one, and he's talked about it, where he was sitting there looking at the materials in the... Mercer back room. Been there, thank God, at least once. Hope to get back next year, early next year. And he flipped over that pink material, and there it was on the back side. Used that, and then threw in some reflectivity on the side, and poof, we have the strawberry quick. Uh, you've even seen that one come out of the Orient from different people, we'll say. They are fakes. He never did make that. Nike never made that. That's a one one bespoke. These remind me of that shoe a little bit. Good stuff. The suede on here, that deep pink suave colorway that they put into this. The very soft materials. And I can wear my regular size 12 and a half. Yes, as I get older, my foot spreads just a little bit, and I'm in that 12 and a half range on a lot of things, so that 12 to 13 goes a long way for me in wearing different size shoes and different shoes in general here lately. It's both good and a bad thing. But that 12 and a half just seems to be the right way to go for me on my newer forces. Getting comfortable with that now. I do like the texture that they put in here as well. The stickers on the back, I think that could be branded a little bit better for me, but it's okay. With this sewn-in texturing here as well, I really like that a lot. I think that adds value to the shoe overall for me. When you start putting in a little bit more details, you're actually getting something for your money rather than just another one thrown together. And I was happy to see that the retail pricing on these was actually dropped a little bit from what I first read. So I think there's a great value in this shoe overall. The yellow ones, I'm going to pick those up as well. If I get there in time, I've found where they are. Uh, the, the black ones, I'm not real big on that just because I've got so many black shoes as I've commented on overall. But we shall see down the road if I'm able to pick up that yellow one still, if it's still sitting there when I get back from Sneaks Up. Tomorrow, October the 5th, San Antonio sneaks up. 
the reflective 3M stripe on the swoosh and on the heel all the way through both shoes let's bring it back out to daylight a little bit and you can see there now we've also got a little bit of bounce off of the gray or silver I guess you would call it off of the silvery colored foot area the midsole the undersole the outsole and you can see the tiny particles built into this to help it catch the light on the swoosh all in the heel same way and I do believe that these will look just slightly better since it's a mono colored shoe when we throw those gray laces in there that they put in with it I think that's the right look and they did come with the shoe as you can see so that's a, another good detail that I'm happy to see Nike did as always you can find me at samcult12.com Google Plus Instagram Viddy all of those different things Viddy I'm not really using as much these days here are the new cards. I will try to include these as well when shoes are purchased off of eBay or GoodShoes.com. And I will have plenty of them at the tables tomorrow for Sneaks Up. Overall, these are very nice shoes. And I'm anxious to see how the yellow ones have turned out as well. Roll into San Antonio this afternoon.